Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribers, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for keeping me going. Okay, I was watching this video by Scariest Movie Ever last night. And as you can see, it's called America's Coming Collapse. Uh, clues, something big is coming. Okay? In this video, it's awesome. And it's he did something very... And I've been sitting on doing this video for a long time. And I haven't just thought I wasn't going to do it anymore. And then he showed something at, at the end of this video that I completely forgot about that made me decide I had to do this video. And But it's okay anyway. This video is all... It has It's a bunch of compilation footage of all the military activity we've seen all over the country. It's got, you know, the YouTubers who are filming all the trucks and tanks and stuff in, uh, on the military trains all over the country. It also has compilation footage of all the different local news channels who are reporting seeing, you know, helicopters and tanks in the streets and soldiers walking the streets and doing drills and stuff like that. And we, you know, well, him, he says that something big is coming. I agree. I absolutely agree. And I think that uh, the military knows about it. And I think the government knows about it. And I really do think that this is not conspiracy because if you have local news channels speculating on what it is and they don't know what it is, why is the government not saying, hey, you know, everybody calm down. This is not what everybody thinks it is. Here is the answer since you guys can't, you know, since we didn't, I forgot to give you an answer. Since news channels are asking, here's what we're doing. Here's what, you know, and makes up, make up something. But they're not even doing that. They're staying completely silent about this, not giving any kind of real... Good reason, except for the. I even watched one from St. Louis where they had military trucks on St. Louis, and the army sergeant was like, "We're doing it for military drivers." Ed, they came all the way from Maryland to do it in military drivers. Ed, it are do military drivers at in St. Louis. Does that make any sense? So, since you don't have any government officials, the president, vice president, you know, freaking uh, uh, White House press secretary saying that's what's going on. You know, just we're just doing you know it's normal. Nope. Sounds like they're hiding something since they're staying silent about it. So, uh, okay. What I want, he, what he showed at the end here, since I don't have his permission, is what made me want to do this video. Do you guys remember the story from, here it is, from 2010? That missile launch? Well, now back to that mysterious missile launch. The white light could easily be seen up in L.A., but tonight we're still trying to figure out what it was. News Marcel Marcella Lee did some digging and joins us with how tough it was to find an answer, Marcella. Beverly and Carlo, we put in a lot of calls to the Navy and Air Force tonight about this, an incredible missile launch off the coast of L.A. around 5 p.m. But so far, no one seems to know anything about this launch. So we showed the video to Ambassador Robert Ellsworth, the former Deputy Secretary of Defense, to get his thoughts. And it's spectacular. It takes people's breath away. Who launched this missile and why remain a mystery for now. It is a big missile. These magnificent images were captured from the KCBS News helicopter in Los Angeles around sunset. The location of the missile, west of L.A., north of Catalina Island, and approximately 35 miles out to sea. You're looking at the L.A. Harbor. Right? A Navy spokesperson tells News 8 this wasn't their missile. He says there was no Navy activity reported in that part of the region. And we have listed. Okay, so we got weird missiles, or at least a weird missile, just popping off the coast there. I also want to show you another little, here we go. Just try to remember this, because I'm going to show you something here after right after this. Try to remember the trajectory and just, just the path, just, just kind of how this thing looks. Okay. Now let's go to this here TV show. Okay, this TV show is called Last Resort, and it's going to start airing here in a couple weeks. And this show is about this guy. He is a commander of this nuclear submarine, a United States nuclear submarine. And they're off the coast of Pakistan, and they get a call from the government one night, and, they, and the government says, launch a nuclear missile into Pakistan and kill everybody. And this guy says, no, I'm not going to do that. So the United States government says, fine, since you're not going to, you know, further, well, they don't say this, but, <laughs> okay, so the United States says, says government, they say, fine, well, now you're the target since you don't want to carry out our agenda. I was going to do a little rant there, but not necessary. And so these guys defect, and they're like, oh, we're going to go get everybody. Okay, now... Just watch what happens. And remember that little trajectory? Remember that little missile shot just a second ago? Try to re keep that in mind. I can't turn this down. It's going to blow everybody's ears out. Two birds heading my way. P1 bombers. Hiding in the ocean is not going to stop them from bombing this town and all the people in it. 
We need to change the game. Sub missile. Did you see that right there? Like that little just. I know it's a different. I wish they had a different direction from that other missile video because it looks exactly the same to me. I'll put this below so you can see for yourself. It has like the same high arc and everything. It looks like. Please believe in me. Please remember how much I love you. I love you too. I am declaring a torrid mile no man's land around this island. We do not obey a government that tries to murder its own. Did you hear that? We do not obey a government that tries to murder its own. Test us and we will all burn together. You've been warned. So the last thing we see is what looks like a missile diving into the water and this man coming coming up and saying, you've been warned. So I watch John Cleck's stuff. I know a lot of people don't like him and everything, but I'm not saying he's right. I'm not saying that God speaks to him. I'm not saying it all. I say I watch the stuff. I like the stuff. Not everything, but I watch the majority of it. He had a video a couple weeks back about how somebody called into his radio station, his radio show from his house, and suggested that this was a nuclear missile that was coming out of the water, fire from a nuclear submarine, and this is the like the nuclear blast, you know, that's a nuclear missile. Instead of this being some sort of towers, that does look like it could possibly be a missile coming out of a nuclear sub. This is the water coming off of it. This is the nuclear blast. And this, of course, causes the tidal wave from who knows where. You know, Florida, West Coast somewhere, who knows. But I tell you what, you see the little blaster? If you pull these things up and stick them together. I see two pictures, you know, I really do. I know that's conspiracy, everybody, but I see two pictures, and then when you put these two pictures together, it almost looks like they create one of their own. Its own picture. But that's just me, I'm a conspiracy theorist. But that sure does look like that little blast goes together. So, I don't know, I'm not saying this is, I'm not saying that's what, that's what that is. Nope, not 100%. Just saying it looks like it to me. Not saying that's exactly what that is. Not saying that's exactly what's gonna happen. Nope, nope, nope. And don't forget, we got Russian subs off the coast incognito so you know and then we have little pictures like this from Florida look at the little tsunami clouds so is that really what's going on I don't know signs appear that that they're pointing to that but who's to say for sure don't know, but I uh, just thought I'd share this with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Love you. Bye-bye.